So that last uh, test was at 70 psi, and uh, it's starting to quicken up enough that it's starting to miss miss on these uh, little contactors right up in there. Get up here a little bit closer. That's the uh, the up solenoid, and the down solenoid. I've got this pokey little thing on there. I just did a little quickie on, but uh, need to improve that. And then I've got this uh, Rube Goldberg device that allows that plate to move forward when the treadle is depressed. Allows that top switch, which is the down solenoid, to contact that and start the cycling motion. And then that little button comes down and contacts the, the up solenoid and then it just repeats the cycle. Um, one thing that would have simplified this build quite a bit as if I'd gotten the right solenoids. These are uh, these are a five port two way. What I needed to keep it simpler was a three port two way. So if I was doing it all over again I would do it a little bit differently. This uh, apparatus runs down to a rod which is connected to the treadle. treadle in turn has another rod that goes up and is connected to the the, the um, butterfly valve for the exhaust. I've got a uh, muffler and oil mist catcher down here. That exhaust goes up and catches the two ports coming out of the, uh, the main valve. And then it's got the hoses that connect to the cylinder top and bottom, which connects up to the rod, which goes to the leaf spring, which comes up to the block where it teeter totters, and it's got a little sliding set up right there so that that uh, ram is translated into a straight up and down motion 46 pound ram the uh, shop air comes out of the compressor located in the corner over here comes down to a block, shut off valve, got a uh, check valve, lubricator, and over to the main valve. And other than some tweaking and improvement of some of the pieces parts, it looks like I'm pretty close. This build so far, including waiting for funds to be able to purchase things, has taken just under a year. And I've been hitting it pretty hard and heavy the last week or so, trying to get things finished up. This is all scrapyard parts. The anvil was originally a, a, a breaking hammer off of a hydraulic excavator couple of chunks of uh, A2 that my mentor Ted Shanks gifted me for the dies. Leaf spring and excavator frame. 
an old industrial weight scale for the base. Discarded hydraulic cylinder for the air ram. Used a whole lot of hardware out of my little junk bins. Just about wiped out my supply. That's about it for now.